Hi people of the VC, uh, Andy back again. This time this video is not a collection update, it's a response video uh, for uh, Carsten Olsen and his uh, 1000 uh, subscriber contest. So hi, uh, hi Carsten. Um, I, um, I've, I've never done a response video before, so you're my you're my first. So uh, bear with me as I, as I muddle through this because you asked uh, three uh, questions and um, it takes me so long to talk about three records normally. I'm hoping it's not going to go on too long for you. But I want to start off by um, raising the beer to you, Carson, on a thousand subscribers. Fantastic uh, achievement. Um, You've got easily ten times more subscribers than, than I've got, and the thought of a thousand subscribers subscribers just uh, blows me away. But you deserve every one of them. You've got a, a, a great channel. Always enjoy um, watching your your videos. Um, I would be very surprised if anyone who subscribes to me isn't already subscribed to you. But if uh, if you're watching this and you're not, then uh, please go check out uh, my Analog Corner, uh, Carsten's channel. Um, so a beer, Carson was having a beer. This is a good Scottish beer. It's uh, uh, seven giraffes, uh, an extraordinary ale, uh, microbrewery, brewed in Alloa in Scotland. Very nice, quite aromatic. So um, I'll have a drink. I uh, hope you have a drink along with me, Carson, when you're watching this. So, um, okay, your three questions. Your first question was uh, to name your guitar. Um, I'm glad that wasn't the only question because um, I'm terrible at coming up with names and I've watched a few of the uh, the responses you've had so far and some people have come up with some great names so um, my initial idea was was horrible all I could think of was, was um, something uh, I came up with Riff Slayer and I hated it but I couldn't think of anything else so I asked my kids I told them all about your competition and uh, I asked them what um, what they would come up with. So my daughter um, suggested Barbie um, and my son suggested uh, Lightning. Now looking at your guitar I didn't think Lightning was necessarily appropriate you know I think that's maybe a bit more of a uh, maybe a flying V or a, something with uh, lightning strikes on it. I um, thought Barbie, you, d you didn't look really like a Barbie girl to me, Carsten, but it did get, she did get me thinking actually my daughter, and, and then I thought um, Barbarella would be a good name for your guitar. Um, she was Bond, like your guitar, and uh, she rocks as well. So um, from the old sci-fi movie, Barbarella is the name that I give your guitar. Okay, so I'm going to move on to your next question, which was show three um, favorites uh, guitar solos. Um, I, I struggle with this one as well. I don't often think about music as just guitar solos. The thing that I tend to differentiate as to whether I like music or not tends to be down to the, the vocalist. Um, so I had to listen through a few records and some things I, I, I listened to recently. And, and given the, I mean, I don't have a massive record collection, but given most of the stuff I listen to is hard rock, heavy metal, there's just, so many guitar solos out there. So I just picked three that I've listened to recently that I enjoy and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy them too. So my first one is one of my favourite uh, songs of all time and that's the, the single that came with uh, Peace of Mind uh, and that's uh, The Trooper. Um, always love that song. Um, it's, uh, I'm not sure whether it, when, when you made a guitar solo, whether it's supposed to be some kind of virtuoso performance, but uh, I think this I think this is okay. I think this comes into the category of it, and I'm going to play a clip um, now. I'm gonna...
Okay, uh, next up, um, album that I uh, wasn't familiar with until uh, last year. Um, it was a bit of a blind buy for me, but um, turned out to be one of the best pickups I got last year. Um, Frank Marino, uh, Juggernaut, and the song I've picked is the last song on side two, on side two, side one even. Got a 50% chance of getting that wrong, I did, uh, which is uh, free. So I'm going to play a snippet of that now as well. Uh, let me know what you think. Okay, and um, finally, the third one that I've picked out for you is uh, another um, new wave of British heavy metal band, uh, Angel Witch, off their self-titled album. And uh, the song I've gone for is, this was a bit shorter, it's the first track on side two, it's uh, Gorgon, and um, it's the guitar solo that uh, closes out the song. So there you have it, that's my uh, three. As I said, I don't know whether they are my favorite. I'll probably post this video, put on a completely different record and think, ah, I should have played that one. But uh, these are three that I enjoy uh, from these albums. Um, in fact, there's more I enjoy from these albums as well, but I'm sticking to the, uh, the three. Um, okay, so your third question was, um, show the, um, show your car stereo or the, your, your, your portable player. Now, I don't play a lot of music in the car. I don't actually do uh, a lot of driving. I, uh, I live within walking distance to work. Edinburgh is a fairly small city anyway. And when I'm in the car, I tend to be in the car with uh, my wife and, and kids. And um, <laughs> they, they have a slightly different taste in, in music than me. And uh, to make life nice and easy, I tend to let my wife listen to what she wants to, to listen to. And um, I grin and bear it. Um, but when I, when I do listen in the car, uh, lucky enough to have a... Um, a uh, Bluetooth connection so I can um, I use my uh, Android phone uh, a lot for uh, as a base for my music I don't I have a number of albums on here um, um, that I listen to if I don't have a uh, uh, an internet connection but if I do have an internet connection this um, opens a whole uh, different world for me. So when I say that is I have uh, an application on here called um, Bubble UPnP server and if you could see on here uh, if it gets into focus there's uh, under library uh, there's something called uh, Box of Tricks Media and um, that is um, a little something that I have in the uh, the cupboard uh, next to me here, so I'm, I'll give you a brief show of that because I, I think it's quite interesting. I'm a, I have to admit I'm a bit of a computer geek, always have been, um, and um, I've got quite a cool media server setup which enables me to, um, as long as I've got a wireless connection, play anything uh, from my phone. Um, when I'm walking to work, I have uh, Bluetooth connected speakers. Um, Bluetooth connection in the car, so I'm listening to this on my media player. And um, when I go away anywhere, I take my trusty uh, UE mobile boombox as well. So as long as I've got my phone and I've got something to listen to, and even if I forget those, I could play it from the speaker on here. But you know, uh, mobile phone speakers are a bit uh, tinny. 
Um, I'm going to flip back over to the, the phone now just to do uh, the next bit of video and I'll just show you that media center that I've uh, got set up and, um, and I'll hop back here. So this is the, um, uh, the cupboard I was talking to next to my workstation. Um, and down here, the lights that you see up here, it's a little bit dark, but, uh, oh, God, I'm in the wrong cupboard. <laughs> lights up here. So this is a uh, a little Raspberry Pi uh, computer, budget computer. Uh, it's connected up to a uh, two terabyte drive here. And on this drive, I've got all the CDs that, that I've, I've owned. Um, my DVDs, they're all ripped, digitized on this box. And um, through the... U, bubble UPnP application on my phone. Um, I can connect up to this box over the internet. I'll connect it up to my uh, little switch here, and basically play any of the music and any of the movies that are on here through my phone or a tablet or a laptop, uh, depending on what I have with me. So I can always have access to my uh, my home media uh, wherever I am. Um, I might do a video on this at some point if anyone's interested because I'm working on a couple of other little projects and also I mentioned the uh, uh, the Bluetooth earphones and the, um, uh, the 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 mobile speakers as well and I've also got a Bluetooth connector for my hi-fi so um, I don't t I've, I've had so many CDs that um, most of them are in the loft now and because they're on the, uh, the, the the media server there I can dial them up on my phone connect my phone to the uh, Bluetooth adapter and then play, switch my um, uh, input on my uh, Hi-Fi to network and play things up and uh, that's a, a pretty cool setup. So that's what I do on my um, on my mobile and even, even uh, mobile at home as well. Um, let's get back to uh, the other camera. Uh, so that was it, Carlson. Um... A great competition. Um, I hope this hasn't gone on uh, too long and I didn't um, geek out too much <laughs> on, that, on that last bit, but uh, that's something I enjoy. Um, congratulations again on your uh, thousand subscribers. Um, here's to the next thousand. Cheers.